Homeland Security is now regulating live entertainment. Indiana DHS demands restaurant owner get permit to play live music. I mean, you talk about thought police. Uh, but right now, let's go to Mike Martin. Uh, and and he, he says he's the owner uh, of the restaurant that's in our article at Infowars.com that Paul Watson found that was in the local news. Homeland Security is now regulating live entertainment. Indiana DHS demands restaurant owner get permit to play live music. I mean, you talk about thought police. Uh, d d d so you say you're the owner of the restaurant, Mike? Yes, sir, Alex. Wow, so so do they think there might be terrorists in the, in the assault shaker? You know, I, I think it's more of a control issue, and really the, the idea with the Department of Homeland Security attaching themselves to the state fire marshal, that really gives them jurisdiction in every business in that state, completely circumventing any due process. And that's really my biggest reason I'm challenging it. I, I don't understand why the Department of Homeland Security became part of the fire marshal's agency. I think we'd all agree the fire marshal is a very legitimate agency that has uh, a duty to protect the service, but I don't see that with the Department of Homeland Security. Well, they want the funding, and uh, Homeland Security is to replace the old republic. Homeland uh, Security on record uh, is there They've always said to absorb America. It is the alien invasion. It is the foreign usurper. It is the Normans invading England. Go ahead. I agree with you completely, and I've caught a little criticism about the article saying that you know that I've blown it out of proportion, and, I, and I've tried to explain very clearly on my blog that it's not blown out of proportion. That if you look at the actuality of what this wall does. You cannot play live music, and right now my case is in the state of Indiana uh, through the state fire marshal's office and the Indiana Department of Homeland Security, but you cannot play live music in the state of Indiana without paying the Department of Homeland Security. The criticism I got was that that only applies to commercial public buildings, and, and I've tried hard to reiterate that every place in the public is a commercial public building. Everywhere that's not a home is a commercial public building. No, no, it is undoubtedly a naked power grab. Sir, they have National Guard now all over Austin running checkpoints and, and, and DHS randomly. We always get there. It's on the local news, but then they're gone by the time I get there. They're now on highways. And you'll have Army with DHS, with TSA. Now in, in San Antonio, they'll have Air Force MPs at the mall with TSA and drug dogs. I mean, it's just, it's just, it, it is third world takeover. Uh, and uh, you need to have your state challenge this. I mean, what are the feds doing I embedded with the fire department? Uh, criticism I get is that this is the Indiana Department of Homeland Security, not the federal. And my question to that would be, and maybe you could help me here, where did the Indiana Department of Homeland Security come from, if not from the federal? No, 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 no. Department? It's federally funded. All of them are on record. No, this is the state traders. And 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 because they take our money, send it back, and then federalize. It's like cops are like, "Yeah, we got some free federal money." Yeah, it came from your state. You know, it came from Detroit. <laughs> All right, sir. Very interesting. Uh, ever, ever in Indiana, I'll have to visit your place. Thanks for getting on the show. What a small world. The Internal Revenue Service admitted today that some of its employees targeted conservative political groups for extra scrutiny in violation of its own policy and despite its earlier denials. Mother
you know what MSNBC is going to do. They'll probably play a clip of this and go, they're crazy. Uh, and, you know, they're saying our dear leader is a fraud. But, but that's all they say. They say we're crazy. What's really going on? Well, Sheriff Arpaio did take this on, and we really went in there with the intention that this thing isn't going to be anything. Let's go in, let's clear the document, move the country forward. That was what the sheriff wanted. And it was like 24 hours later, I had to call the sheriff and say, we're going to have a problem here. The vehicles driving behind, I believe that's uh, Nancy Grace. And look, okay, you saw the red car. Go, can we scroll that back, guys? All right, you saw the red car. All right, there it goes behind anchor number one. And it, here it comes, anchor number two, and let it keep rolling. You're going to see the same bus drive by. Okay, here, here comes the bus. There's bus, and there's the bus. So you can see right there they are in the same parking lot trying to pretend that they're on different sides of the city or wherever else trying to pretend like they have a remote. And actually, Alex Jones made a report about this earlier this year, and we're going to re-air it for you right now. These are aerial pictures here in Harris County, Texas, as we have been watching the better part of this last hour. North Harris campus is on lockdown. This is an active situation. We are not showing you live pictures because, because, because of what, what we may possibly see. The corporate state-run media calls anybody that questions the official propaganda that's pumped out by the government and the dinosaur media as conspiracy theorist. And that's just a way to demonize your opposition and to try to get weak-minded people to not investigate the information that the alternative media is putting out. Now that said, it doesn't mean that everything the government or mainstream media puts out is a lie. 